In this video, we're going to look at using screen parameters in Next4. So I'm going to start by creating a folder to keep my alias tags. I'm going to call this alias just to make it easier for myself. I'm then going to create three tags inside of here. I'm going to create one, which I'm going to call speed, and I'm going to set that to be an int. I'm going to create another one, which is going to hold our current, how much power it's drawing, and I'm going to leave that as a float. And finally, I'm going to create a tag for status. I'm going to set that as a bool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a copy of this folder. I'm going to paste it two times. So I can simulate two different motors. And I'm going to go ahead and rename the folders. Next, just after I say it, I'm going to create a new screen which is going to be a pop up. So I'm going to make it 500 by 500. And I'm going to call it Motor PU or Motor Pop up. And also remember, with your window state, you have to change it to normal, otherwise it will force the screen to full size. And I've set it so it's in the center screen when it starts as well. So I'm going to come over to my symbol gallery, and I'm going to find a symbol for a motor, which I'm going to use to indicate the motor is actually running. And then I'm going to put two display boxes onto screen, one which will hold the speed information and one which will hold the current information. So I'm going to go into my display settings and I'm going to use the unit label. So it'll actually put the unit of measure or the title of what it is inside of the display box. Now I'm going to open up my tag list from the project tree and I'm going to find the alias tags and I'm just going to drag and drop them onto the controls on screen. Not forgetting to put a button onto screen as well that we can use to close the pop-up once we're done with it. So I'll just put a button on screen and just get it right. Mark it as close. And now let's apply a command to it. So it's a screen command. And I want to close, and I'm just going to specify the name of the screen, which is Motor PU. Now I'm going to create some parameter files. This is what takes the alias out and replaces it with a full tag. So I'm going to add a new parameter. Just resize these so we can see them properly. And then over on the right hand side, I'm going to pick up my alias tag and the tag that needs to be replaced with it. 
And I'm going to do that with each of the tags for motor one. So I'm going to save this, I'm going to close it, and I'm going to rename it so it makes sense to me. And then to make life easier, I'm actually going to copy and paste this. It's renamed it as Motor2. I'm going to open it up. The alias tags aren't going to change, so I'm just going to change the tags. And it's going to go on to, to the Motor2 tags. Go ahead and save. What I need to do now is create two buttons on screen that I can actually call this with. Okay. So now we're going to go to our commands. I'm going to do a screen command. I'm going to specify the motor pop up. I'm going to set the command type as open modal pop up. But here's where it's different. I'm going to tell it to use a parameter file. So this one I'm going to use motor one. I'm going to come to my second button. Again, open as a screen. I'm going to open motor PU. Command type is open modal. And this time, motor2 is my parameter file. So let's save this, start the project, and see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit motor1. Everything's come up as blank, so I'm going to put some values in here. I'm also going to click on the motor so we can see it running. And we're going to come over to motor 2, and we can see it's blank, so I'm going to put a different set of numbers in here. Mark it as running. So we can see that the two sets of numbers are pulling the tags in, and they're completely independent. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.